Hello everyone, this lesson is powered by your lesson app. So let us solve this problem. Um, we have x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 3. Our target is to find the value of x. It's not that easy to solve this directly in order to get the value of x, but we can make a substitution. Let us say, let p be equal to x to the power of 3. That means that if I need the value of x now, um, it means that x is equal to the cube root of what? P, right? So wherever I see X, I will remove X and put the cube root of P. So from here, the first X, I will write it as cube root of P to the power of seeing X again, I will have cube root of P then to the power of 3 that is there already. Everything is equal to 3. Now, cube root of P is like saying P to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of p. This cube root of p again is the same thing as p to the power of 1 over 3, then raised to the power of this 3. Everything is equal to 3. This we cancel out, leaving us with the fact that p to the power of 1 over 3, all to the power of just p, is equal to what? 3. Right? Now from here, we can have again that P to the power of 1 over, sorry, when you times P times 1 is P, all over 3 is equal to what? 3. And we need to get the value of P. So what if I decide to raise both sides to a power of 3? Because in an equation, whatever you do to both sides or both powers will not affect it. So I can raise both sides to a power of 3. You will see that this will cancel out, giving me that P to the power of p is equal to 3 to the power of 3. From this, you can just conclude that p is 3 because base equal to base, power equal to power. So therefore, p is equal to 3. I've got p, but the equation is not wanting us to find p. We are required to find the value of what? x. But for this relation, we have known that x is equal to the cube root of what? p. So to get my x, I have to do that x will now be cube root of what is P? P is now 3. So X will be cube root of 3. So this can be the value that will satisfy X in this equation. You can test to check if you are correct. So let us check to see if our answer is right. You know that cube root of 3 is the same thing as 3 power 1 over 3. So seeing X here, I will call it 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Into seeing X again, 3 to the power of 1 over 3. And already you have a power of 3. Let us check if this will give us 3. This will cancel out to leave us with 3 power 1, which is 3. So we have 3 power 1 over 3. Bracket this 3 that is here. Let us see if it is equal to 3. This will still cancel out, leaving us with 3 power 1. And of course, 3 power 1 is 3, so 3 is 3. Because of this, it shows that our answer is correct. Do not forget that this lesson is powered by your lesson app. Thank you for viewing, and may God bless you. Bye-bye.